the fall of 2017, my wife and I headed to Philip Edward Island for four easy days. Due to an injury sustained on a previous canoe trip, I was forced to stay away from any physically demanding trips. Thus, we opted for a relaxing canoe trip where our focus was on creating mouth-watering camp meals. Just uh, coming up on uh, Colony Provincial Park any minute, and uh, even though we don't need permits for camping on Philip Edward Island because it's brown land, we still do need uh, parking permits uh, to park at their uh, parking lot. Okay, so we're here at the Chicanishing uh, Creek um, parking lot. We just got our permits, uh, not actually not permits, just parking permits to park here. And uh, we're just about to set out. It's, it's a muggy, hot day. And uh, I think this is what the weekend's gonna be like. So it will actually be really nice. It'll be like summer, although it is officially now fall. Are you excited? Hey buddy? You must be hot. You've went into the water already twice. So at least you had to load it. Um, well we think packs and pack. barrel. Okay. I just want to stay away from this metal. No barrel. So Teddy seems to be a bit hot, so David is going to do his dad duties here. <laughs> and dunk him. And dunk him. He's, gonna, he's not going to like it. He's ready to go. <laughs> there we go. Normally it's me, but he's put on a bit of beef. He's like, I don't like that. Okay, put him in the canoe. Okay, buddy. Let's get back in the canoe. There we go. So, it's uh, it's a late start today. Um, we uh, were originally not going to go at all on our anniversary canoe trip because of this finger. And so, uh, when I... So when we negotiate, so I negotiated yesterday about going um, on an easy canoe trip. And she obviously gave me some conditions such as uh, no portaging and an easy paddle. And so we picked Philip Edward Island. And so 
that's where we're heading. So right now we're on Chicanishing Creek, just heading out to Georgia Bay where there's Philip Edward Island. And yeah, it's not a long paddle. One thing uh, to note right off the bat is that uh, this creek is pretty swollen. It is higher than I've ever seen it. So it's pretty much like spring conditions. And uh, I guess the high water levels certainly have continued right through summer. So, yep, yeah, we're going to spend four glorious days on Philip Edward Island. The temperature is going to be really hot over this uh, this weekend. And uh, so we're going to be sweltering. But it'll be nice. We'll be going swimming and enjoying the weather. There is a trail that runs alongside Chicanishing River that goes to Georgian Bay. We saw several hikers along the way as we made our way towards open water. Not long after, we got our first view of Philip Edward Island. We stopped at various points along the way to look for a suitable place to not only camp, but cook as well. Okay, we just uh, stopped off at a point and man, the heat is oppressive. It's a good thing there's a breeze, but it's so humid. And uh, <laughs> we obviously didn't make a lot of effort to get here, but I'm already sweating. So I'll be looking forward to camp and uh, going for a dip to cool off. But it's beautiful out here today. Check out the beautiful water. Really, really pretty. This site didn't make the cut, so we continued on looking for another one. We prefer the south side of Philip Edward Island, as it is more rugged and beautiful due to being exposed to the wind and waves from Georgian Bay. The only downside is that it could get rough, but that certainly wasn't the case that day. Then we came upon this island that looked like it had potential and decided to check it out. There's a spot to pull up on. They're gonna be slippery. I don't know if we should go in sideways. The view from here was gorgeous, but more than anything, we found a great campsite tucked behind on the other side. Okay, we have set up camp. Um, we took a little reprieve in a little forested area just because it was so hot in the sun and uh, there are there's a lot of rocks ra right around us so we could certainly head out over there if we wanted to get some sun but if you look behind me we set up the bug shelter right in there um, I'll have to get a, a piece of wood because uh, one of the sides flopping down see right over there and then in the distance you can see our tent is right about there uh, it's just on a flat piece of rock but yeah, so we're just kind of in this um, stand of white pine and uh, it's nice because like I said, it just gives us, some, gives us some shade. But if you look out there, you can see Georgian Bay and over here as well too. Anyhow, so what we're going to do right now, because we've set up camp and it's, uh, it's like 4.30, what we need to do is get some firewood because tonight we're going to have uh, um, grilled chops of uh, pork chops on, on in the fireplace in the fire pit <laughs> fireplace <laughs> um, so the only thing about Philip Edward Island is that a lot of the sites that are used 
unfortunately there is no wood. Um, in fact, people have been cutting down branches off live trees and, and are probably using that for fire, which is kind of sad. So there is a lot of areas right behind us that's got a lot of trees. So we're going to paddle over there and see if we can get a mother load of wood. And we'll have it all here set up so that we can uh, grill tonight and, and bake and do all the other good stuff uh, tomorrow and in the preceding day. So we're right now going to be on a wood hunt and, uh, and then that's it. So we've been what? Not even 10, 15 minutes, right? 15 minutes. Okay, so there might not be a lot of wood on the campsite, but if you just paddle out of the area where there's no one camps, then this is the kind of firewood that you can get in 15 minutes. So the only thing is it's all softwood and it is super dry. Some of it's literally falling apart, so I don't know how well or how long it's going to burn, but we do need a lot just because we're going to be grilling vegetables, the meat, and then um, and then boiling some water. But I think we'll have enough for tonight and possibly tomorrow morning and uh, for the baking we'll probably have to do another run but who knows maybe it'll last us uh, all day tomorrow so looks like a good uh, good bunch of wood for us for now. There's so much wood you can't see the bow paddler. <laughs> Lighter empty. Okay, so uh, now that uh, we've got uh, tons of wood here, we've got, uh, I got the grill all set up. You can see here, nicely in the fire pit. I had to rearrange it because the other side was the open side, but uh, the wind's coming from the south this way, so I had to build it on this side and open it from uh, obviously this, this end. So right now, we've got uh, some water boiling uh, just for some rice. We were gonna rehydrate some rice which is right in here. We'll just, all, we'll, all we'll need to do is just pour the rice, uh, sorry, pour the water in there, let it sit for five minutes, rehydrate, and then it's ready to go. And over here, as you see, Nita's got uh, some onions chopped up, and we were gonna grill it on, well, we were gonna put it on the grill, but I think the, the onions might fall through, especially when they start to, to uh, cook. And uh, so we decided, because we have lots of foil, we're just gonna put it in the foil, We'll sprinkle oil in it, cover it up, and, and just put it on top of the on top of the grill. Yes, kimasabi. <laughs> and over here we've got some big long red peppers, which will be perfect uh, on the grill. No worries of it falling through the through the holes there. 
Have to mix Sprinkle some black pepper, salt, oil, and we'll be ready to go. Did you bring salt? Nope. I got black pepper. I got chili flakes. We don't use salt very often, so... Alright, no salt. No big deal. Oh, I forgot to mention. The main course. Though there are pork chops right over here. Um, they're just thawing out right now. And uh, they're in a marinade. Anita said that she used some kind of lemongrass marinade. I think that's what you said? Yes, I just don't remember the official name anymore. Official name? Oops, sorry, can't help you out Let's there. Let's see if I can open this with one hand. Look at that. So, there we go. Nice, two nice pieces of pork chops. Just sitting in a nice marinade since, uh, was that last night or the day before? Oh, no. I made that. I marinated for two days and threw it in the freezer. The freezer? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So, that'll be nice. And uh, we'll grill that nicely when the fire is nice and hot. And um, I think it should be a pretty good meal. So the pork chops are on. Um, I could smell the lemongrass and it smells really good. I'm getting hungry just smelling this because the wind's blowing the smoke and the smell into my face. But it certainly looks odd because of the color. But I suspect it's going to taste better than it looks. What do you think, Teddy? You think the pork chops going to taste good? Hmm? Anybody? I bet you think so, eh? You probably can't wait. So there you have it. So we got uh, lemongrass pork chops and grilled red pepper. What kind of pepper did you say it was? Shepherd pepper. Shepherd pepper and grilled onions and just re uh, rehydrated rice. There we go. It smells delicious. Can't wait to dig in. So you'll just have to let. I'll just have to let you know how good it is. That's the lemongrass. Not bad. Not bad. Is this a different uh, recipe mm -hmm. you're using? I had wonder. I was wondering about the marinade, um, lemongrass and pork chops, but oh man, it is really good. Okay, you might not be able to see me here. Whoa. Okay, so uh, we were just. Uh, I've been hearing it rumbling, and. Uh, even though it was not forecasted to rain today, but there is like thunder going on in the distance and tons of lightning. I'm gonna put the camera towards it and hopefully you can catch, oh, look at that. And so we just scrambled to put everything in the tent, tie everything down. Now I'm gonna point the camera towards the sky and hopefully we can record uh, some of the lightning, but there's a lot of uh, lightning, but not as much thunder. But like literally, it's been going like half a dozen times since here. I'm gonna turn the camera towards it. I know.
Here. Right here. I'm already ca capturing it. <clears throat> Film him, just trying to focus. Ooh, look at that, eh? I know it's been going nuts. It is moving closer. Oh, look at it. If it starts, we run. And, and it's humid, eh? Mm -hmm. All right, I wonder if this is gonna... So, I don't know if you can hear now. The wind is going nuts right now. Yeah, there we go. Now we got enough light. Can you hear that? The wind is rip. ooh. I think I tied down the canoe. Yeah. I was making me wonder if I should tie down on the other side. Right now that's the sound of pine needles coming down on the tent. And there was a little bit of uh, rain. It sounded like it was weird because it was initially... Hold on. Initially, uh... All that thunder, well there was thunder, but mainly lightning, and the air went really still, and the, actually the mosquitoes went nuts. And then uh, that passed, and uh, we, we decided to come back into the tent. I was having a hard time focusing, there we go. And uh, here. And then uh, we went, we brushed our teeth, and then the and we could hear the wind like coming from a distance, strong wind, and uh, because it looked like it sounded like the thunder was moving away, and the lightning was kind of it was still kind of going, but the thunder was going away. So we thought maybe it was just passing, but now the thunder's got stronger. It's been cracking overhead. The wind's really picking up. And as you can hear, there's a combination of rain and uh, pine needles hitting our tent. Quite the storm up there, up in the clouds. Here comes the rain. So it's a good thing that we uh, scrambled earlier in the in the evening to put everything away. We pretty much battened down everything, put everything in the bug shelter, and brought everything in the tent because we didn't know if anything was coming. Initially, it didn't, and we thought maybe it was all for naught. But obviously now it's coming. It was so weird. Here, you can even see the lightning through here. Because the thunder really went away and we thought, okay, it's passed, it's gone. And then it returned with a vengeance. Okay, well, I'm gonna get settled. You know what I mean? Okay, nothing I can do. We're just gonna wait out the storm. Hopefully the wind doesn't get too strong and I'm kinda glad that we're kind of settled in, in amongst trees so we've got a little bit of a buffer but we weren't able to peg anything down because it's all rock. So we ha we've got everything guyed out with rocks so 
hopefully this will, will this the trees will buffer the wind a bit because uh, if it gets a little curry I'm sure some of these rocks will move and uh, the guidelines may come loose so wish us luck I think there was gonna be rain Okay, we're full on rainstorm now. 10% chance of showers, that's what they gave us. We got all 10. It's pretty hard. You could probably hear this really well. We uh, decided to bring all our shoes in and uh, keep them in the tent because there's like splatter because it's rock all here and uh, you can see that the tent walls are getting uh, hit with some uh, splashback. Be interesting. muggy and sticky last night and uh, I can't say it was a very good sleep it was like you and the dog were snoring no we weren't yes. Teddy was snoring you he was snoring up was a snoring. storm he thinks after you <laughs> that dog that little 20 pounds of dog can snore like a trucker hey Teddy Hey, buddy. Hey. And then he wants his space. He pull, puts his uh, paws into me. This stretches out. We've only got limited space. Today's our uh, official anniversary date. So I wanted to <laughs> wish my wife a happy ah. anniversary. Right. And and, anniversary. and she couldn't sleep because she couldn't find a comfortable position because of her. Is that your hip? Oh, my back. She's broken. I'm broken. She's not meant for this rough life. I'm broken. Okay. This think. is glamping, man. Okay, but it's not exactly a level spot. I have a bump in my mattress. So do I. Yeah, but you don't count. <sighs> so. Yeah, it was not a very pleasant sleep. It was so hot. Yeah, very, very hot. Really sticky, muggy, oh, just I had to blah. Keep the doors closed because of the rain. Yeah, even now I just feel like super tacky. So not yeah. not really you nice. Can go jump in the water and become untacky. <laughs> and that was quite the storm last night. Mhm, mm it was. And. Uh, we had all that wood collected because we were going to cook with wood this morning and didn't know it was going to rain and I think it's pretty soaked now so We're going to starve to death now Yeah Oh my Interesting. goodness Interesting Hear that? That dog can snore even with his eyes awake Buddy, your feet are in my ribs. Well, he he didn't care. I can give you a foot here too, you know. There. Give me that a foot. Oh well. That's what I gotta deal with. 20 pound dog that snores louder than me. Oh no, dude. I'm gonna get you guys in symphony there. <laughs> right, Teddy? are disturbing my sleep. I think he's the only one who was comfortable last night. Why do dogs do that? They push out their arms and legs and they just stretch out. Oh! Territory. Uh -huh. I think on my legs. Oh! Tacky, 
tacky. Look at it. It's muggy out there. Yep. Gross. The floor is wet in here. Uh huh? Happy anniversary, honey. You brought me something? <sighs> You're so sweet. <laughs> Yours is still on my computer at home. <sighs> this is what I get. <laughs> so I thought that counts. <laughs> it's a thought that counts. You know what? Give me the card back. I'm going to chuck it in the water. Honey. Uh, <laughs> it's on my computer at home. I can't help it. Yeah, I right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you see how it works? <laughs> Oh, how sweet. Ooh. You wrote me a letter. It works too... It doesn't work the same way, does it? <laughs> <laughs> That's the thought that counts. That's what she said. I'm going to remember that. And I said, honey, I wrote something. It's, but I, I, didn't, I don't have it for you. I'll never have it for you, but it's a thought that counts. <laughs> You'll get it eventually. It's, just, it's on the computer at home. I'll say the same thing. You'll get it eventually. 20 years from now. <laughs> I'm thinking about this every year, but I didn't write it down, so when I'm like, maybe 20 years later, you'll get it. Very funny. You're hilarious. It's there. <sighs> it's there. See, it's because I was going to give it to you today at home. No, it's because... But you negotiated with me. Oh, so it wasn't prepared ahead of time. Is that what you're oh, saying? No, I was going to give it to you today at home on the computer, but you... We're going to go camping. Yeah. You've already need a new splint. You climbed a tree, which you shouldn't have climbed. Actually, you climbed two trees you shouldn't have climbed. Hey, that we need that bug shelter. I'm going to have to tie you down. Yes. I'm a monkey. Yes, you are a monkey. And now you're saying, oh, well, maybe if somebody else carries a leg, the canoe, I can go camping. Anybody want to volunteer to take me right. camping? I promise you can't fall at all. Did Otherwise I, you're going to be grounded forever. I jumped off the tree and um, never fell. Okay, so how did you break your finger? I fell. Oh, there. Thank you. I rest my case. <clears throat> Not climbing a tree. You're just hopeless. <laughs> I swear I'm going to have to hit you in the head and lock hey, you up hold on. for six weeks. But I remember the anniversary. <laughs> I uh, remember it, it's at home. <laughs> it's a thought that counts. I remember if, that. If we have, well, we do have the phones, and they, there is Wi-Fi. I can forward it oh. to you. <laughs> Did you hear that, folks? <laughs> Did you hear that? It's a thought that counts. She, she could forward it on the phone. <laughs> now, now she feels bad because she's getting something, and I didn't get anything. <laughs> no, nope, not feeling bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's why you, you put your head in the pillow and you're turning red, right? I always turn red. Yeah, yeah right. I always turn red. It's a double standard, folks. Double standard. Oh, I put up with you. I think that's why. Uh, yeah, yeah. <sighs>